Hello everyone, how are you feeling? I hope all of you are doing really great at home. And this is your teacher Nena. I'm here with a new session for the class 5. So everyone, welcome to Swift Learn. Swift Learn is India's most sincere learning destination for the classes 1 to 10. Here we are providing 100% live and interactive classes, personalized attention batch with maximum 6 students. That is why our teachers can pay a lot of attention to our kids. So we have a dedicated academic mentor team to track and work on students' progress. So these are key features. Let's have a look at it. And we have the detailed progress reports, Swift Learn Academic Test Series. And that is why you can take unlimited practice tests from here. And we have our subject test for school exams. So get ready, book your free trial class today itself and get ready to explore the art of learning with Swift Learn. And here we go. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will never ever miss any important updates from us. So here we go. This is a new chapter that is the Light and Shadows Part 1. So these are the things we're going to learn today. The first one is what is light and the next one is what are luminous and lone luminous objects and the sources of light, transparent object, opaque object and translucent object. So these are the things we're going to learn today. I hope you are holding your book and your pen and get ready. So close your eyes and imagine that you're sitting in a dark room. There is no light. So will you be able to see anything? No, because there is no light. So without light, we won't be able to see anything. Now open your eyes, look around yourself. You observe so many things, right? How it's possible? How do you think? We see objects. We see object with the help of the light. So now the big question arises in your mind is what is light? So what is the light? What do you think? Yes, light is a source of energy or is a form of energy. It enables us to see the objects and the things around us. So but where does this light come from? Can you give some examples? During daytime, we are able to see a lot of things, right? The vision is clear. It's possible. How come? It's because the sun as a greater source of energy of light, they, it enables us to see the objects and the things around us. So these are the other sources of lights. The firefly, so the firefly, the sun, bulb, stars, fire, electric bulbs and candles, all these are examples for the sources of light. And here we go. We can divide the sources of light into two categories. The first one is the natural and the second one is artificial. So what is natural and what is artificial? Natural means it produced by the mother nature. Artificial means it's man-made, right? Yes. So let's see what are the natural and artificial sources of light. So try to list some of the natural sources of light that we can see like that are present within the nature. It's created by the nature. Yes, sun is the greatest, greatest example. The other one is a firefly. Very good. So sun, firefly, the stars, all these are the natural sources of light. And over here, artificial sources of light. The torch, bulb, candle and other electronic uh, sources of light all are artificial because it's man-made. So have you ever seen a firefly in the night? Yes, right? Firefly is an organism which emits light of its own and it is a natural source of light. Similarly, glowworm and land and fish also emits light of their own. So please note down three natural sources of light such as firefly, glowworm and lantern fish. Here we go, glowworm and lantern fish and the firefly. So we can note down all these three examples for the natural sources of light. Luminous object. Now we're going to learn about the luminous object. Look at this bulb. It's a luminous object, which means the object that 
emit light are called luminous object such as bulb sun candles everything so over here is moon luminous what do you think definitely not because the moon reflects the light of the sun you can see the moon over here yes in the middle you can see the moon and here is the sun and here is the earth so the moon is reflects the light of the sun so it's not luminous it cannot emit the light now let's learn about the non luminous object so what is this is it luminous or not luminous it's not luminous it is non luminous because the object cannot emit the light right that is why it is known as non luminous object look at this book this book is non luminous and this wooden furniture is also non luminous such as cloth like the walls all those are non luminous because the object cannot emit the light let's study about some more types of object so have you ever wondered why you see through a glass but not through the walls or the books why it happens it happens because of its transparency we can divide object into three categories so transparent object look at this one it is transparent because it's see through right so the, this uh, this kind of object allows the light to pass through it and that is why we can see through it such as the glass and the water and here opaque object look at this wall the light is not passing through it and it is not see through right the object that does not allow the light to pass through them and we cannot see through them that are called opaque objects such as the wall and the book and here the wooden door and so on i hope it's clear and translucent objects so the object that are light to pass through them partially or we can see through them not clearly are called translucent object look at this one we can partially see through them but not fully which means it's partially let the light to pass through it so such are known as the translucent object butter paper plastic all those are example for the translucent object so as you can see we have three doors of here door number 1 door number 2 and door number 3 so the first one is a wooden one and the next one is a glass one and the third one is also glass one but here the first one it is not see through right the boy and girl are hiding behind the door and it is not see through so that is an opaque object so here we can see through it but it is not fully is partially see through it right so that is a translucent object and here we go we can completely see the girls and the boys legs and hand because it is transparent so these are the three categories of the object according to their transparency so let's take your notebook and pen and write down all these items and categorize them as transparent translucent and opaque if you are not that sure you can write depends so can you do this activity yes please do it and over here let's revise the quiz number 1 dash enables us to see what is that it is the light right light enables us to see and quiz number 2 what are luminous and non luminous object give an example luminous means the object give of their own light are called luminous object such as the sun the object that cannot emit the light their own and those are known as the non luminous objects such as a wooden wall chair and so on what are opaque objects give an example the object that does not allow the light to pass through it and we cannot see through them are called opaque object such as human and this mobile the books and so many more so let's play and win if air will be an opaque object then dash will happen what is that we will see things blurred we will see things more clearly none of the above or we will not able to see anything what is the answer 
Yes, we won't be able to see anything. It's correct. Very good. Object that emit light are cold dash object. What is that? It is the luminous objects. It's correct. Very good. Butter paper is an example of transparent object. Is this treatment as true or false? As definitely false. It is not. It is translucent. So very good job for getting all these three answers. And today we learnt about what is light, the sources of the light, natural sources, artificial sources, luminous and non-luminous object and transparent, opaque and translucent object. So very good job everyone for your focus and thank you so much. So if you like the session, please like, comment and share. See you. Thank you everyone.